In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Here I am again. My name is Father Geoffrey Baran, pastor of St. Joseph's in Pinal in California, by the Bay. I'd like to begin this reflection by this song, or with this song, a song about God that God is good, that God is great, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Are you looking good today? Are you feeling good? Are you doing good? Or are you being good? Well, I know, my friends, that during this time, it's hard to feel good. It's hard to do good. It's hard to look good and being good. During this time of our environment, where there's so much darkness, pain, struggle, uncertainty, but one thing I know, is that God is good. God is good. How great thou art. There's no question that we live in a society that is so image conscious. Social status, respect, material things, power. But there's no love. There's no love in the world. There's so much hatred, division, arrogance, and ignorance. I'm sure you know you remember Mother Teresa, one of the, one of the great saints of our time, and she worked so hard with the poor in Calcutta. You know what she said one time? That if you're a person and your heart is not filled with love, or if there's no love in your heart, you know what she said? Consider yourself dead. Life has no meaning, she said, without love. Mother Teresa, we know, she made a difference in the world. She was different. She was different. She was faithful. She was faithful to the gospel, to the gospel of love. You know, we are so busy looking at ourselves. That is who we are. That is our society. Always about me, myself, and I, and not about them. If you want to be happy in life, what makes you happy in life? For the world, my friends, happiness means a nice house on the hill. For the world, happiness means a million dollars in your bank account. For the world, happiness means a nice, a nice sports car. That's happiness for the world. What's your happiness? Life with God? Family, friends, relationship. If that's your happiness, then you are in the kingdom. That's what Jesus said. Huh? That if you want to be happy, huh? serve others. I came, he said, I came to serve and not to be served. We need to go beyond ourselves, my friends. 
If you want to be happy, have joy. Have joy if you want to be happy. Joy means Jesus, others, and you. Last, that is joy. Jesus first and others before you. We need, my friends, to go beyond ourselves if you want to find true happiness. Because, that, because true happiness is found in serving others. When we serve others, we are serving Jesus. And so, my friends, during this time of our challenge of grace, of course, as we enter the Holy Week, we need to be looking at Christ in the world today. Our life, our life, our faith must be centered on Christ. Our life must be centered on Christ. When everyone gives, everyone receives. And this is the highest good, my friends. This is the highest good. When we give, everyone receives. St. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, challenges us, challenges us to excel in the graciousness act of love and be generous in the blessings that we have received from God. To be generous with the blessings that God has given us. Our Lord, for our sake, become poor for us. Our Lord, for our sake, become poor for us. The one, the one who was the living water, the one who was the living water became thirsty for us. And the one who was hurt and rejected, insulted by many, became the living reality of God's love and forgiveness. We can learn from this. To be happy is to serve and to follow these footsteps of Jesus when he said, I came to serve and not to be served. And that is the highest good. And, that's, and, that's, and when that happens, my friends, I guarantee you, you will look good, you will feel good, and you will do good in life by being good, by serving others. Again, thank you today and always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.